Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of January. On to the next year. Here we go. All right. I'm really hoping that everyone's going to have a happy and healthy year ahead. All right. So I am using the um, lovers, the lovers tarot deck. Hold on. I need to get, I don't know the names half of these sometimes of these cards. The Lover's Path Tarot. All right, and I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. Upside down. There we go. All right. Okay, so um, if you're new to my channel, the way I do my tarot readings is by shuffling and letting one card fall out. Okay, so... Um, they're, they're called clarity cards and jumpers. So I shuffle till one card falls out at a time. All right, if more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I will wait for one card to fall out again. All right, a little bit about myself. And I feel like I repeat myself every single month, but I have to let you guys know how I do my readings. So what I do is I do readings based on feeling and emotion. I'm what's called, I'm empathic, okay? And I have a heightened form of empathy. It's called clairsentient. So I can, through emotions, feel past, present, and future. So if you're involved with somebody and the woman is angry and abrupt, or the male is angry and abrupt, I can feel that. I can feel if they're soft and giant, uh, kind and gentle. I can feel if they're angry. And with those feelings, I can feel why they're like that. What has happened to them in the past, if it's like past relationships, and it can feel where they're going to take it. So it's like I'm kind of that person. I pick up their emotions and their feelings. That is how I do my readings. I like to think, like I, I call myself the relationship expert because relationships are filled with feelings and emotions. I can feel if somebody's lazy, if they're not going to work at this, and they're just letting the relationship kind of slide. All right, those are, the th those are the things that I kind of pick up with. And I can direct you, um, put you in the direction of what this relationship is going to do. Okay, if it's going to break up or if it's going to stay together or if that person's going to come back or if, they're, if you are on their mind or whatever the case is. That's how I do my readings. And then I also do tarot cards as well. Okay, all right. I would say my accuracy rate is about 90%. I get a lot of feedback with people saying, that that reading really resonated and that how do I know this person so well when I don't know them, okay? That's how I do my readings. All right, so on with the reading. I will shuffle and let one card fall out. All right, what are the messages for Aquarius for the month of January? Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Seven of coins. Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Eight of coins. Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Four of coins. Aquarius for the month of January. Four of cups. Three of cups. Aquarius for the month of January. Princess of staves. and six of cups okay so these are the messages for the month of january these are the energies okay all right so the very first card we have here is the card that represents the relationship and it is the seven of coins and this card is a card of growth it's like you tending to a garden and not seeing the fruits of la your labor yet so it's like planting that seed and you're fertilizing, watering, weeding, and waiting for it to grow, okay? You haven't seen the fruits of your labor yet. So this card is saying, keep going. 
push forth. The two of you guys are doing this. All right. You're not really there yet, but you're both working at this relationship. So the seven of coins is about patience. It's hard work. It's about delayed success, but you'll get there. Don't look back. Keep going. Okay. All right. So what's going on in their mind? We have the eight of coins and it's a bit of a glare there. So the eight of coins is a card that represents someone who's working hard at this relationship emo uh, mentally. Okay. So they are almost there. Again, here we have, they're working hard, you know, working hard at it. You're not seeing the fruits of your labor and this person almost there. He's hung up seven pentacles, he or she, and there's one more left to go. Let me just get the book. A lot of pentacles for that person. Okay, so, so we have the eight of coins. And the Eight of Coins is about um, it's working with integrity and discipline. All right. It's about uh, working hard. This person is working mentally very hard at, at this relationship. Okay. Probably the relationship is on their mind a lot. All right. Then we have the Six of Cups. This is what's on in your emotions and your, it's, sorry, this is what's on your mind. It's about memories. All right. This is sometimes about a past love. I don't know if you're involved with somebody that's um, with the past with the past lover um, ex, but this card is saying that um, a lot of times people like to remember the good times and they bring them into the present, and you hold on to the relationship because of what you remember in the past. So this is saying that you could be dredging up a lot of memories from the past with this person when it was happier times, okay? And not realizing how things are right now, but you're kind of living in the past. All right, so now we have the Four of Coins, and this is their emotions and their feelings. So the Four of Coins is about desire for long-term security, and it's a fear of change. This person is working at this relationship because they want that long-term security, and they're scared of change. They probably don't want to be alone, they're comfortable, they love you, they are working, they've been working a very long time at this, or, you know, uh, and they don't want to lose it. They don't want that, that there's, there's this fear there of change. Okay, and they want security. All right, Princess of Staves. This is your emotions and your feelings. Princess of Staves. All right, so this is about communication, enthusiasm. You could be showing more enthusiasm this month. It is about um, important communications. Need to listen to inspiration. An inexperienced young person who may be very passionate but not very experienced. So you're very passionate about this relationship. All right? But maybe you don't know why. Okay? Um, it could be about your past memories. What you're remembering here. Okay? All right? So this is about communication and still having passion here. All right, then we have the Four of Cups. This person is representing themselves as feeling something's feeling like unfulfilled, feeling apathy. Uh, the Four of, there's, this person's got two fours. So the Four of Cups. That's coins. I want cups. All right, Four of Cups. It's about being dissatisfied. Now, this is again for the month. It's about boredom, being dissatisfied, uh, taking something for granted, whether it's love, talents, beauty, it's need for a more authentic life. It's reevaluation of a relationship that feels superficial. So this is how they're representing themselves on the outside, but not necessarily what's going on on the inside. So on the outside, this person can look like they're not working on it. They're not um, invested in the relationship, but... Clearly they are. They're, they have that fear of change and they're working on it still, but you just don't see that part. And then we have you as the Three of Cups. And this is about um, a circle of support. It's about celebrations. It's about um, uh, going to a community. Someone, maybe, maybe you are talking to other people about this relationship, needing support, guidance, help with your friends. Um, maybe because you just can't talk to this person right now, okay? 
but this is someone, this is about support. Three of Cups is about a circle of support and friendships. So you could be surrounding yourself with people this month that are helping you out. This person might feel like, might look like they're not, like they're just feeling like apathetic and not really caring, but they really do. All right. They're scared of that change and they want the long term security from you, but they're just not showing it. All right. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages? For Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Messages for Aquarius for the month of January. Aquarius for the month of January. Okay, here we are. Codependency. All right. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. What are these addiction? Addictions on to each other, codependent on each other. All right. So this is your messages for the month of January. It doesn't mean it's forever or the, the, the length of the relationship. These are the messages that just come up for the month. Okay. All right. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this reading. I, I'm hoping it was helpful. Again, if you'd like to get a private reading from me, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. And all readings are usually done within 48 hours or less. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I truly appreciate all of your support. All right. Thanks again and have a great month. Bye-bye.